Shannon reads those books. Book number four. Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, maybe I should have left it for my 50th <laughs> book. <laughs> All right. Hey, folks, it's Shannon, and it's time to get to it. The infamous book that brought BDSM erotica to e-readers everywhere and became the fastest selling book of all time. Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James from 2011, and this makes its way onto the, those books list because it is on the Book Riot Zero to Well Red list, and it's the last entry on it. I don't know if they're like, it might have been like alphabetical and then numerical, although this is spelt 50, not the number 50. So anyway, many people in the comments uh, noted that they weren't happy that this was on <laughs> a list. But it is a Zeitgeist book. Um, it's a book of our times. People talk about it. It is very much in pop culture. And that's one of the reasons why I chose to read it. Um, another reason why I chose to read it is for its Twi connections. If you are unfamiliar, this actually started as Twilight fan fiction. So the two characters in it, Anastasia Seal and Christian Grey, uh, do resemble Bella Swan and... Um, oh my god, and Edward! <laughs> That's so funny. I totally forgot his name. Ah, too funny. Anyway, the other reason I meant to, I, I chose it is I've been meaning to read it for ages for the Twilight Connection. There's an upcoming book to film adaptation. We talk about it fairly regularly over at Before the Dawn, and I decided the last one of the most recent episodes on Before the Dawn, I said to Marina, by the next time we talk, I will have read it. And I actually made a chart, a little, let me see if I can grab this. Whoops, knocking things over. I actually made a countdown. A Fifty Shades of Grey reading countdown. All 26 chapters. Well, I had read the first six earlier this year in two weeks. And I read pretty quickly. I actually read quicker than this, to be honest. Usually, yeah, no, you know, uh, epic and older books aside. Uh, but um, for some reason, I kept on putting off this book. <laughs> maybe we'll, um, maybe we'll get to that as we go through these questions. First off, did I understand it? Yes, I understood it. It is about n almost graduating from college Anastasia Steele, who meets uh, millionaire extraordinaire Christian Grey, and he uh, they start to you know, fall for each other a bit, and he invites her into his secret BDSM lifestyle. If you're not familiar with that term, it's actually, it's so funny, because when I looked it up, it was a little different than I expected, but, but basically bondage, dominance, submission, um, and something else. Uh, is it sadism? Now I have to look BDSM. <laughs> I think I already had it up. Uh, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadomasochism. There we go. I don't, there's too many words though. Like there's too many letters for the acronym. Anyway, if you're unfamiliar, that's what it is. It is sex with, uh, violence, punishment, pain, uh, and rules, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, okay, next up. Did I enjoy it? No. <laughs> um, and that's actually a first of the those books. Um, it's weird. In the beginning of the story, there is the sort of newness of the relationship type stuff that's re always great, um, but it very quickly falls into a very strong power imbalance and Christian's need slash desire to own her and uh, control what she does. And um, to me, it actually just very strongly uh, resembles uh, an abusive relationship cycle and was very disturbing, especially for any time she got enjoyment. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of like, that's just really messed up. That's really simplifying it, to be honest, but, you know, and I'm pretty open with what people do and what they, what they read and what they want to do and how they think, but I really draw the line on not thinking for yourself and the power imbalance that it showcases really Im like really one of the big strong things about it is don't think I'll think for you <laughs> no no you have a brain use it use your noggin that's what it's there for you get one all to yourself one per person use it. I just, I was really annoyed. I was just really, I, that just, I can't go there. I can't go there. And I, it's one of the s few places that I actually feel 
uh, strong enough to take a stand and say it's not appropriate to go there. It's not okay to go there. It's not okay to make other people feel like they shouldn't think for themselves, even in a role play type scenario. So, yeah, not good. And so, yeah, not good. And also, oh my goodness, there were so many literary references. I was so annoyed, like, especially for Tess of the Dubervilles, um, the Thomas Hardy novel, all the time. I really felt like I needed to be an English lit major to get all of the references, which is odd getting, which, you know, needing the references. I'll talk about the language later. Um, so next, was it what I expected? Yes and no. Um, in some ways, the premise I was familiar with, this is, again, it's highly in pop culture. People read it aloud on and make fun of it and all that kind of stuff. And with the Twilight connections, the characters are very, you know, uh, tangible. And, but I had, I also had heard, so this is still in the yes category, it was what I expected. I had heard that the language wasn't that great, that the writing was poor, and I wouldn't actually totally agree with that. I would actually say that it was really understandable, um, with the exception of the fact that like the language itself is very clear um, and sometimes va not vague. Mm. One of the weird things about these types of stories is if you use certain terms, it really throws people off. Um, <laughs> if you get really specific about anatomy, it can throw people off and certain people like certain words and certain people don't like certain words. So it's very vague in that sense. And so I think it's very, it's in a weird way, it's more accessible. But then you throw in throughout the story, all of these words I had never heard of, all of these terms I had never heard of, I don't know what they were. I kind of wish I kept a list, but that would be way too much work. But it's kind of funny. There's this, It's completely understandable, very easy to <laughs> to read, and then these words that are like, what the heck does that mean? You know, and it's usually describing I, either how, sh how she feels, she thinks about Christian, how, what he looks like, or how he feels, or how he makes her feel, those kinds of things. That's usually, it's usually describing words, and I'm like, what are these words? <laughs> so anyway, um, and then the no part of what it was I was expecting, I would actually have to say it's pretty tame when it comes to the hot and heavy elements of the story. Um, to get more into that, I have to get very spoilery, and I don't really feel like going there right now. Um, and I've, like, you know, honestly, any Harlequin I've ever read is more, you know, hot and heavy than, than this, I would say. So that's weird. But on the other hand, it's actually like Twilight. This is much more about Anastasia, her emotions, her processing, her thought process, how she feels about things, what she thinks about things, what's her experience of what's going on. So it's much more internal in a lot of ways. Um, so I don't know. It's weird because oddly there's some great moments in it. There's some fun catchphrases and I'm sure that they're going to really pick up on that in uh, for the upcoming film adaptation. Um, but to me it doesn't make up for all of the things I don't, I didn't like from it ranging from the bothersome like behavior and ideas and to other things that I outright hated about it. Um, some of those, like some of those are about his character, but some of them are also about Anastasia's character as well. Um, and some of her self-talk, which was very, 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 very hard to listen to. <laughs> very hard to listen to. Do I recommend it? Um, outside the curiosity factor, I would say no. And even then, I would say only for the unimpressionable. I would hate for someone to read this and think that it's some kind of guidebook or normalcy or something, because it's just whacked out in terms of the power dynamic. You know, just to be clear, I'm not against romantic <laughs> books or erotica. It's I'm not. It's just that the power dynamic of what's going on here is very, very disturbing, especially since it very much, as I've already said, really resembles an abusive relationship. So. But, you know, if you're going to go there, you know, and you're unimpressionable, <laughs> go for it. Unimpressionable. Is that the right word? If, if, if it's not, if you're not, if it's not going to sway you one way or the other, honestly, it's a very easy read. A lot of it's documents and stuff like that, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I like. But uh, here I didn't 
really like it with the exception of the fact that it made it faster to read because you only had to read like a tenth of what was filling the space <laughs> which is really bad <laughs> will i read more from this author i am not sure uh the the, the right now i would have to say no but if they film the uh, if after seeing the film i will see it i i will i just <laughs> i will watch it i'm very curious um but, and if they continue the film series i may continue to read it but honestly i don't really know what i would get from it even from the titles of the books the it's 50 shades darker and then 50 shades free i have a pretty you know, good idea of what's going to happen to them. And although I didn't like this, I'm kind of okay with just leaving it at just this work. So that's a bit, that one's a bit hard to actually, you know, I think I've had my fill just from this book. Um, next up, what did I learn? Not very much. Um, probably that Zeitgeist may, is not the best way to choose books, but it's fun. Like I am, there is, I don't regret reading it. I don't feel that strongly about it. And there's certainly jokes and like, you know, it's just silly. I find sometimes with pop culture stuff, you can get the joke without even reading the book. Maybe now I could make jokes about it. I don't know. I don't know. The only other thing I can think of is that I probably won't like Tess of the Dubervilles. I am so saying not saying that right, eh? Um, because it's referenced a lot in the book and just my you know in i didn't i would i would sometimes i would skip when it's a literary reference sometimes i skip like a paragraph cuz i don't cuz i know i'm going to read the book and i don't want it to be spoiled but i would gather from anastasia's continual references to tess that i probably won't like that book <laughs> <laughs> and even though actually this has gone on fairly long, I probably am likely to review this more at length in a spoilery way um, because it's hard to contain my thoughts to just a non-spoiler version of this and this short review reaction, especially since I've been, ha I'm strongly, you know, in the Twilight world and have read all the books. So to see all of the Twilight connections here is just really funny. It'd just be really funny just to go through them um, and maybe some of the more spoilery things and the just ridiculously hilarious things. and. And offensive, uh, offensive might be too strong, but disturbing, definitely, uh, thing. So, and I know that it's fiction, and I know, you know, maybe shouldn't take it so seriously, but just because it feels so, for me, so, I feel so strongly about people thinking for themselves, to have something that showcases the idea of not to do that, I, not in a normal way, it's in a very abnormal way, but even so, it really, the idea bothers me that much that I, I just, I feel like, it's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Anyway, I think I gave it a two on Goodreads, but it's that was I was probably feeling generous. I think to be honest, it's more of a one. There were some good things. There were some things I enjoyed, but overall, not so much. Anyway, I'll leave the link below for Goodreads, and it'll have. I also have a, a book list for the, all the four hundred plus books on the those books list. So I don't know how to jump back uh, or ricochet or jump back into the fold from this one. I'm not. <laughs> sure what to read next but wow that was 50 shades of gray <laughs> thanks for watching